here because we share an important insight. And that is that many of the solutions to a better and more equitable world are found in the world's landscapes. A forum such as this, and if I understand correctly, it could be one, if not the largest forum that is happening alongside this conference here in Paris, the COP, has drawn together people from different disciplines and sectors. Et votre forum contribue à nous faire progresser dans ce sens, puisqu'il a notamment pour objectif de formuler des propositions concrètes pour lutter contre le dérèglement climatique. Et j'attends beaucoup de ces propositions concrètes. Environmental crisis. You can't If we heed this call for action, this driving urgent call for action, what do we need to do? There are so many things we got to do, and so much of it is local. One is the support to and investment in sustainable landscapes. Should it come from rich donor countries? Yes. But will it? No. So in the absence of, <laughs> you know, I'm a realist. <laughs> but my view is that the old West um, will be trumped by the emerging countries in terms of how they deal with sustainable development. We really needed to balance this global top-down agenda with a much more bottom-up agenda. You cannot protect the forest from Paris, Oslo, from New York, from London. Only those us who are protecting it already can continue to do so. We already know that we need you. We need your wisdom, your guidance, your investment. But I'm here to tell you, you may not know it, but you also need us too. So there you have it, uh, colleagues, a place in which you can fall in love, in which you can invest money, turn problems into debt that turn green. Places in which we hear, in the silence of a hall, also the cries of the earth, but also bold new policies. The day after the COP, I would like to say that that's the day when 2016 starts. And 2016 and beyond has got to be about implementation.